Merhaba, welcome to another episode of Moments with Nike. Ben Adine Hasran. Ben Adenike. Are you trying to take over my show, girl? Excuse me. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Moments with Nikki. And I have my girl here with me, June. Yes. I call her June July. It's Haziran, by the way. Whatever, June right? July. June July. Haziran. <laughs> so today we'll be talking about things to know about Turkish guys. Ooh. Yeah. Let's what do you know about Turkish guys? Uh, the first and major thing, no lack of hygiene like literally yeah they stink a lot uh, mostly in the school bus like god like they stink a lot and you see a guy looking really cute really really cute they have this cute eyes i love but eyes. bathed in cologne they don't shower they don't shower it sucks and it's like all of them have this condition of like two months showering i'm like you guys are all born with the same body type skincare like does it make sense but i just said it guys once how was it like? Tell me your experience. How was it? What did you? How did he even ask you out? Okay, this was in Turkish. He was from Kurdistan. Kurdistan. Okay, I don't know where that is, but I'm just gonna say okay. Somewhere in, <laughs> somewhere in <laughs> Turkey. Okay. But it speaks Turkish at the same time. So this one was okay. Like the body odor was good. Sorry, but I was like, you know, like okay, yeah. What turned you okay. off? What was like uh -huh. the tone of like what? Okay, like he was into the conversation and everything. He wasn't yeah. like all these other dudes like make short conversations. Yeah. You know, like when you date someone, the dude has to make the conversation. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I got. And yeah, all went well, but I was not feeling the vibe, and I just disappeared. You know, I just like you didn't break up. You just stopped talking to him. I just yeah, I disappeared. Just like that. Just like You're that. You're so mean, girl. That's so mean. It's life. Does it still call you? You know? Uh no. I think he gets the message. You know, that's the beauty about guys. They get the message faster. Yeah, they're so smart. You no, know, when you don't go make up someone for two weeks, what's it supposed to mean? Over. So what's the good thing about this in the, the Turkish man? Uh, I don't think there's anything good. Maybe you could make beautiful babies at the end yeah, of the day. Oh gosh, the babies! <laughs> <laughs> the babies, they're so cute. Like, like interracial dating is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It has its good side and the bad side. But I don't, I don't think I don't see myself dating a Turkish man though. Would you like to try? I don't know. I like I love my African guys. I don't. Yeah. What do you love about this African? Oh, guy? my African guys are everything to me. But I don't know. Dating a white man is not a bad thing. But to me, I love my African men. Okay. Yes, I do. So you won't consider breaking that boundary or? For now, I don't know. Maybe, but I really can't say. Change is custom. So let's see how it goes. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second thing about Turkish guys is that they just want you. Like they'll be like, "Where you at? Like what you doing?" And, and they're very controlling, possessive. And, yeah, and then they'll like make you into like their second mom. You know, like let's say he gets sick, and yeah. you're like, um, just give him some aspirin and water, and it's like, no, no, I want you to make my mother soup. I like. I can make your mother soup, so if you want your mother soup, you can go and get it from her, like literally. Maybe that it make <laughs> that means If you're too clingy, uh -huh. it also makes me want to back off, because I don't want clingy. I want someone who likes like, why isn't he texting me? Why isn't he doing this? Yeah. But every single day, I'm like, what's up? Oh, Snapchat. Oh, whatever. It's everywhere. I'm like, you know what? Mm -mm. Hmm. This is not going to work. Okay. So what's the other thing? Beards. And I literally read in an article that a beard holds ten times more germs than anything. So I'm like, like they love. But, do you, but most of what about the ones that have big beards and they're very clean? Like they clean it a little bit. Yeah. What about them? It's not know. all of them. But I just like, you know, no. But I feel like it should be less beard. You know, mm -hmm. they they love it too much. I'm like, I, now I see why you like that guy. Which one? The one at work. One. He didn't have one. It oh. was clean. Okay. Okay. No. I feel like when you're together, mm -hmm. he doesn't want to like show you yeah. off because he fears of that stereotype. So it's like you either meet at night. Really? Yeah. Like at night. Like not during the day because you know you got heads turning like this, heads turning like that. I'm like, uh, yo, we're just two people. Maybe friends. Maybe brothers. Maybe. 
something else, but it's like now you see why I always speak my African guys over them because so you're afraid I'm, of stereotypes. No, I'm not. I am not. I am not. You dating an African man, he's not gonna be shy to show you off to his friends or family. You get. But a white guy be like, okay, let's meet at night, like what you just said now. Hmm. You get yeah. right. So that is it. So. But this this one I really liked him the most because yeah. he wasn't like this other perverted Turkish guys. Okay. Like those ones that you meet at the auto stops that ask you, oh, what's your name or where are you from, and then yeah. they're like, do you want to have sex? I'm like, dang, we just quickie, answered quickie. the question. I'm like, you quickie, quickie. I'm like, no, no, quickie, quickie. You just quick drop me off here and let me just go my way because I'm not doing this. But this one, he didn't bring any topic. He was like, he was a clean guy, but. He was just too clingy, so yeah. Okay. So those are now you're the one educating me. I'm learning from you right now. Oh, here. and they don't um like when you talk about past relationships, they don't want to hear such. Like you say like let's say he asks okay, he doesn't ask you but you're like you have a um a number of your ex. I don't know why most of you people have your ex's numbers. It still doesn't make sense to do Being an ex doesn't mean you should stop talking. You guys can uh, have a good relationship. Ah, it means you're my ex. Yeah, my ex does not make okay. you my enemy. Back, so to this, <laughs> back to the discussion. So let's say you're like texting your ex and he's like, Yo, who's that? I'm like, he was my ex but now we're best friends. He doesn't want to hear anything about your past relationships. And he also doesn't want me to know about his past relationships. But I feel like if you insinuate like, oh, my ex is to do this and all that, but like, no, we're not doing that anymore. Like, we're not doing it anymore, so you can just forget it. I'm like, okay, let's just leave it. <laughs> so, yeah. I think that basically wraps it up. Yeah. Except if I have new experiences. Mm, okay. We'll do a episode two. A part two video. A part two. So Turkish guys are good. Some of them are good. Some of them are not good. So if you're thinking of going into a relationship with a Turkish guy, just take time, observe, and know what you are getting yourself into. It's not gonna be all rosy all the time. So know that yes, a lot of things is gonna come up. A lot of time he won't want to show you out to his friend. So just get ready for those kind of hard times. Yeah. Yeah. Hard and good times. Yeah. And center times as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So thank you so much for coming on the show, girl. I had fun. It has been a pleasure. Yes. I had fun, fun too. It was fun talking to you. It was fun. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> and guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We have more amazing videos coming your way. And still me, your girl, Nikki. And she I'll see you some other time. Bye.